I bought a 2DZ uh, GE non VTI for my Celex Supra. I bought also a big turbo for it. I am maybe in over my head. Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be pulling the rear sump off this TJZ. So I have a disassembled 1J sitting over there with a front sump that I need for this 2J. So I'm going to sell this rear sump, which is already sold, and the engine in my car is already sold. So I have a lot of work to do like ahead of me. So I'm going to buzz this off really quick. And I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the trip. Uh, I might talk a little bit just about the car, my goals and stuff, and uh, my inspirations that got me to do this again because for a little bit, I, like I really wanted to YouTube, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. Then like, oh, I just don't have a computer. I'll, I'd come up with all these excuses and the reality of it. I have everything at the tips of my fingers and that's how we're recording today. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna rip this rear sump off really quick so I can get it shipped tomorrow. This is also the first time opening this thing up, so hopefully nothing is in here. That's my uh, biggest worry right now. Uh, this could potentially change the realistic future with this engine. So yeah, let's do this. Yeah, this, this will work. That'll work. That's the oil level sensor, I'm, I'm assuming. So in my next video I'm gonna post, I'm gonna bring the work workbench from my basement out here so I can actually dismantle the 2J a little bit better. Uh, I took a lot of the accessories off like, well, I started to, then it got really cold and I gave up because there's no heater in my barn. But when it warms up, when the snow melts, I'm gonna be out here and finally disassemble this, take the head off the JZ and uh, inspect the bearings and kind of do my final inspection and you know make a parts list and order all the stuff i need then hopefully oh just hopefully make another video after that which i am i'm just yeah i'm bullshit right now i am good old milwaukee you know what the first time i did my engine swap i did it with all ratchets no impacts and I did it in a day. I'd say the second day was the like getting the accessories plugged in, getting the fuel lines routed and yeah, yeah. So I know for a fact I could yank this thing and put a new one in in a day. I'm just trying to make it that smooth. So yeah, those look like 12 millimeters. If you don't know everything Toyota is like 10, 12, 14, 17. Come on, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is that high? It's an 11. Son of a bitch. Who put an 11 in the 12 spot? Hey. In my exercise. Don't tell me. Don't tell me now. So my phone died in the process of taking this rear sump off. Anyway, so I was gonna show you guys the remnants on, inside this pan. Um, it is a little dirtier than I'd like, but I'll try to bring it to you. So that right there is all casting marks. I thought that was just dirt in the oil pan and I was gonna be butt hurt, but that's all just casting. So instead of me crying on camera, I'm actually, you know, relieved now, that's cool. Well, I'd about to seem super professional on this camera and be butthurt inside. So anyway, um, I dropped a bolt in the bottom of one of these pistons, so I'm gonna try to get it out. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, see. let's see what Ross can do. My barn's a mess. You know, when I got this concrete, I told myself that, man, nobody's working in the barn. I don't want no oil stains in the barn. And sure enough, <laughs> oil stains everywhere already. So uh, yeah. Let's see if I can find this thing. Mm. 
Nah, I'll just poke around. Get just a... My guy. All right, that's fine. I found it that fast. I'm actually impressed myself. So, cool. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that you guys didn't see half that, but I still want to make a video out of it. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Boomy. I'm going to lick up all the damn oil. Get back, buddy. You know what's weird, though? There was no gasket material on that sump. I'm actually going to look, and maybe I'm just ripping. There is. Okay, it just looks like RTV, though. So... To me, that just looks like somebody rebuilt this or resealed this thing. I'm keeping the oil sending unit and the guy who's buying this, I'm obviously gonna clean this up in our parts cleaner at work tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna try to clean this up super good for him so he has like a plug and play application. I hate selling stuff that's dirty. Um, the other reason this thing's not power washed really is because it's freaking freezing. I should have been out here three days ago, but it was damn near 30 degrees. And my birthday was yesterday, so I kind of was not really trying to do this. My wiener's cold, just trying to make it. All right, there's, the, there's that nut. I could not find it the whole time. There she goes, short A. Yeah, like I said, my huge, huge inspiration on why I'm out here is Puddin. Puddin's fab shop, I'm gonna put it in the description below. That dude is A up. And I don't know if it's like, it's the Oklahoma accent and like the no judgment like he don't care like he don't care what you think you know because you're watching his YouTube like if you if you really care that much to quit watching it you know what I mean and he's just coolest coolest person out there I think I I'm gonna meet him one day put in I don't know your name I know I just started watching you I'm gonna meet you one day and I'm gonna buy one of those damn mini trucks off you I think it'd be really freaking sick all right, guys, thanks for watching. I am going to go inside. I am freezing. Like I said, it's about 32 degrees out right now. Uh, I'm glad I got this rear sump out. Um, it's a little dirtier than I expected, but I need to ship that out so the customer gets what he needs so he can build his engine. I get it. I'm not trying to let anybody wait. But uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like stuff like this. Uh, follow my TikTok, Instagram. I post stuff like this also. So, yeah, thanks. See ya.